everybody. Starting off today with some examples of what we're gonna work on. These are some old journal pages I had and I'm just showing you these as examples of how we're gonna incorporate some text and images while letting the background of our pages uh, poke through. So just printing or writing on text that's very transparent um, just to add another level of intrigue to our work and also just give us a little platform to do some writing without having to commit to writing directly on the page. So here's a piece of vellum I used where I tore some of the um, parts of the pages and the text kind of poked through. Here's a page where I covered it completely with vellum after I did some writing on it. So I'll go through some additional examples and the process here in this video. First, I wanna start off and introduce myself. My name is Katie Gebeli and I'm a mixed media collage artist here in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. I have a little studio here in the mountains, which is lovely to work from. And I am just so excited that you're here and um, watching these videos. And I would encourage you, if you are liking these, um, please subscribe or comment or like the videos. It all helps the algorithm do its thing and it's just really helpful for me as I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel a little bit and. Um, yeah, see, see what happens and see where it goes. So what I'm laying out here on my desk right now is I have a little pile of tracing paper. You can also use tissue paper. The tracing paper I have here is very, very thin. It's uh, not a great quality. Um, so I would say tissue paper is uh, equally as good. I use that all the time as well. And then I also have a few pages of the clear acrylic paper also used on overhead projectors, uh, which I also find kind of fun to incorporate in. And here are the journal pages that I've worked on so far. If you saw my previous video, that's where I kind of laid the foundation for all of the pages. And um, now they're kind of just sitting off to the side and so I can kind of walk you through each process I use as I create a journal page. So what I'm gonna to use today is a older journal page that I had that's really um, kind of full of texture and paint. And so you can kind of see how adding these translucent layers on top of that will adhere really well. So with this uh, tracing paper here, you can use anything really to write with. Um, you know, I got my Posca pens, some Sharpies, uh, mechanical pencil. Um, I even have uh, my colored Posca pen. So Whatever you can find to write with is great. Just keep in mind that the paper here that we're writing on is a little thinner. And the reason we're working on the thinner paper is so when we glue it down to our journal pages, um, the base layers poke through with all the colors and the texture and that kind of thing, and kind of leaves the text or the images laying flat and looking clear. So I'm starting off just with a sample quote here that I wrote in one of my zines just to give you kind of a um, example of how this all works. Bringing you down closer. The one thing you just want to be aware of is because this paper is thinner it tends to pull a little bit easier so um, kind of write with caution and just have fun with it. This is a great way, I don't know about you, but I'm always nervous to write directly on my journal pages or even on my artwork, um, especially when it's really kind of meaningful to me. And one way or another, I always mess it up or I misspell something. And uh, this creates a great way to get my text down without having to commit to writing directly on the page. If you mess up, you can just start again and it's no problem. So on this page, I'm just going to show you a couple different examples of different writing tools and how they'll look on the journal pages. And it doesn't have to be just text. You can do doodles like I'm doing here, just some lines. All these things, which we will learn about later, um, contribute to the layers and the intrigue and just the um, kind of the depth of your journal pages, which is really fun to watch how they evolve. And it's a simple way to do it too. It's, it's not complicated. Um, it just calls for some different layers and just kind of outside the box thinking.
All right, and then moving on to a piece of the transparency film. Uh, obviously, this one will feel a little bit different when you're doing your writing, but it's going to create the same effect. You will have, instead of like a matte finish, you'll have more shiny finish, which in some cases I think is really cool. Um, but just another option to play around with here. And same thing as before, this uh, pen here is a Posca, but you can use those, you can use um, Sharpies. Pencils wouldn't work quite as well because it just won't stick um, to this material. Um, but you can even use like some acrylic paint I've used in the past and just painted it lightly on there. Uh, it's just a really great thing to experiment with and see kind of what works for you. Here I'm just going to show you just some doodles. You can just use a Sharpie or whatever and just create some doodles, which adds a really fun um, another layer to your pieces. All right, so let's move on to an example of what this will look like when you put it on your journal page. Now again, the page I'm using here is just full of paint. There's a lot of texture there. Uh, this is not one of the pages I pulled out for the journal that I'm creating, but I certainly could use it. Um, so you can either tear or cut the um, tissue paper or the tracing paper. I kind of like it when it's torn. It just kind of blends in a little bit better, but you certainly can cut as well. And then I'm just using some matte medium to adhere it down. I like using matte medium, especially when I'm adhering thinner paper because it just is really fluid and it, it works really, really well without being overly sticky. All right, and then once you get it down on your journal page, you can lightly rub on top of it. If I had waited a little bit longer, um, I would have been a little more uh, aggressive with this, but since it, I just wrote it a couple minutes ago, I'm being a little gentle with how I'm kind of pushing it onto the, the journal page. Sometimes with this type of material, I'll just use that matte medium and I'll paint right over what I just adhered down. It just helps that things stick a little bit better and helps flatten them out a bit. And you can already begin to see once that is glued down, um, the colors underneath really shine through. They're slightly muted, but you get the overall effect, which is great. So let's go ahead and try something else here with just these marks. So same thing. I am gluing on the back of the paper. You certainly can do it right on the journal page if you'd like. Now with the transparency film, obviously you can't tear that. So just cut it out however you'd like. And then just keep in mind, this isn't quite as flexible as the um, tracing paper. So wherever you do adhere it, you do want that to be a little more um, flat. And I would probably use like a PVA type glue for this. Right now I'm just using the matte medium for the example, but PVA glue or kind of a heavier body glue might help stick that plastic material down a little more.
But again, you can kind of see that you're getting the same effect with both, um, both materials. All right, and I'll bring this up a little closer so you can see how fluid that really looks. And it's super fun. And um, use this time to experiment too. You can actually print on the tracing paper. You can print on the transparency sheets. Uh, here's a photo that I took myself years and years ago, um, just on one of those um, transparency sheets. And it comes out lovely because again, the colors underneath can poke through. And it's just really fun. So play here and experiment. And um, I would love to see what you guys come up with as well. Here's an example of where I just typed out some text and printed it on my printer. So you see there's just so many options here. And finally, the other great thing, especially about using either tracing paper or um, tissue paper is that once your paper that you glued down is dry, you can go over it. Um, so that just is another element to kind of blend in what you um, glued down as if you know you had written directly onto the journal itself. And finally, one other step you can take when you're wanting to add some layers that um, people can really read legibly or notice a lot more is you can always add another layer of either white paint, or in this case, this is gesso, to your existing journal pages. And then whatever you glue on top of the white obviously will um, be a little more clear than if it was super colorful or had a lot of design in the background. So these are all just examples of things you can play with as you're creating your journal pages or your mixed media art pieces. And I encourage you just to have fun with it as always. And if you have any feedback, questions, or tips about what you use when you're creating your collage work, let me know because there are just so many ways of going about this and none of them are right or wrong. It's just all about experimenting and kind of following your curiosity and playing with our art materials, right? And as I wrap up this video, just wanted to remind you, you can also print images on your tissue paper or your vellum. Um, anything like that works great. And then here's a couple more examples of uh, individual cards that I created using the same method. So there I used a, a little picture of a brick wall. Um, here I wrote on the tissue paper and then on the bottom there's some printed flowers. And a few more examples here. So again, have fun with this and feel free to reach out anytime. In the next video, I will be starting my first official journal page with you guys. So um, please stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.